This is a video on my method for learning foreign languages. I'm not saying that my method is the best method or the fastest. Um, all I really claim is that I really enjoy it and that it works for me. So here's what I do. I take a book in English, something that I would actually like to read. This is a science fiction book by the great writer Isaac Asimov. And I also take a translation of that book in the language I'm trying to learn, in this case, Spanish. And what I do is I read the books in parallel. So I've got an English sentence over here, I get a Spanish sentence over here. And I mark the words that I figured out because of the context. And I'll go back later and kind of review those and just really feel really smart that I figured those words out. One thing additionally I want to point out is um, I will mark extra little clues. So this is an adjective to, to this word, or actually, let's see here, sonrio, probably an adverb. So I mark what it is modifying with an arrow like this. I also have a little symbol where I'll take a verb and I will mark what it is acting upon. And so I have these little extra clues as I'm trying to figure out a word. So I do a little bit of reading, and then the, the book becomes a little portable vocabulary review for me. I can just kind of flip back through, look at what I've underlined, and see if I remember it. One thing I really like about this system here is it allows me to deal with the fact that words can sometimes have more than one meaning or translation. And so instead of getting into this trap of thinking there's one and only one way to translate an English word into Spanish, I learn all sorts of multiple ways that it can be done and that really has kind of helped me develop kind of a feel for the language. This looks really awkward having two books opened up, but really it's not so bad once you get used to it. And also, there are books that are just kind of dual language books, where you've got the Spanish on one page, you've got the, the English on another, and this has really been helpful for me when I've been traveling, because if I have these two books, I really don't want to pack them both, and I don't really want to have this huge writing or reading surface to, to look at. So this has been a, a really big help. And so that's kind of my method in, in a nutshell. But to do my method, you have to be able to read the text. And so in the case of Hindi, I don't know how to read this script yet. So I've been kind of getting a head start on that and practicing a little bit of my handwriting and learning some of the letters. And I've kind of come to a natural stopping point before I dive all the way into this language, which will be sometime after I've kind of satisfied myself with my abilities in Spanish. I've marked the, the script, the letters that I know how to speak. And I've left the other ones unmarked, and I'll get to those later. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take those letters that I do know and I have practiced, and I'm going to take that knowledge, and I'm just going to dive right in. I'm going to start reading things in Hindi with a native speaker playing. And so I'm going to just, by, by living it, by immersing myself in it, and using that kind of input, I'll figure out the other letters. And I'll go back to this book, and then I'll look at these letters, and then I will practice writing them out. What do I mean by that, that I don't, that I don't know these letters? Well, really they're either sounds that are not familiar to me as an English speaker, or they are sounds that are so close to each other that I don't really think I could differentiate them yet. So I'm going to develop my ear for the language by practicing with the language. And that's going to be how I tackle Hindi. So as a whole, this is my method. It's a, it's a method based on discovery and treating the language like a puzzle. And I love that metaphor of a puzzle. Think about either a crossword puzzle or a jigsaw puzzle. What you're doing is you're taking the pieces that you do know and you're focusing on those and you're working with those. And then the other things that you don't know, over time, those just start fitting into the puzzle. And doing it this way, as I said at the beginning, might not be the fastest way, but I really, really enjoy it. 